it is very hot. Okay. Very nasty place to work. <laughs> a lot of mosquito, smelly and muddy. We are doing science in a dirty way. Indonesia's vast mangrove forests fringe the archipelago's tropical coastlines from Sumatra to Papua. It's a unique ecosystem, thriving semi-submerged in estuaries and bays where salty and fresh water meet, washed by the daily movements of the tides. These marine forests support a wide variety of animal life and contribute to the livelihoods of local people. Their wood is harvested for charcoal and paper pulp. And the standing forests with their powerful prop roots protect coastlines from storm surges and flooding. But while Indonesia boasts nearly a quarter of the world's remaining mangroves, they are under threat, especially from conversion to shrimp farms and palm oil plantations. Worldwide, half the world's mangroves have been lost in the past 50 years, meaning that at the current rate, in another 50 years, they will all be gone. And this matters, not just for the coastlines where they're found, but for the whole planet. Recent research from the Centre for International Forestry Research has discovered that mangroves absorb huge amounts of carbon dioxide, one of the gases responsible for climate change. So while these forests stand, they help protect our climate. But if they're cleared, all that carbon is released into the atmosphere. This ecosystem is very much neglected. It has been considered as wasteland or marginal land, and people tend not to look at it more carefully. That's something Daniel Murdiaso wants to change. He and a team of scientists from C4 and the Indonesian government's Forestry Research and Development Agency have come to a mangrove forest in West Kalimantan to find out more about mangroves' role in climate change. Now we conduct this uh, joint research with C4. Why uh, we do this research? Because uh, uh, mangrove uh, ecosystem has a very important role in its contribution to the uh, climate change issues. C4 postdoc Joko Perbo Puspito is leading the expedition on the ground. We look for the pristine forest, the representative one for the world area. Okay. okay. Yeah, just use your, your tools to take a look. Tapi di dalamnya ada sungai kecil nggak ke dalam? Kira-kira. Previous C4 research found that mangrove ecosystems store three times as much carbon as other tropical forests. There is such a huge amount of carbon stored there, especially below the ground and mangrove is decreasing very rapidly, so we want to know uh, exactly what's happening in terms of losing the carbon storage in this ecosystem. Once the area has been chosen, the real work starts. The team measures out a 150-metre transect divided into six plots. So we started off from the river edge, and then we draw a line uh, perpendicular to it. The first 50 meter is here. This is our first plot. The scientists need to weigh and measure all parts of the ecosystem along the transect. Well, this is the, the second plot, which is 75 from the river edge. And in each plot, we will be measuring trees and then soil, uh, woody debris. What team are you, Oki? What debris team? Small one, fine one. This is uh, to measure the pH of the soil core. The pH is uh, increasing now. Then the trees themselves have to be dismembered. It's destructive, but unavoidable. Yeah, 
The scientists need to weigh every leaf, twig and branch and collect samples. It's a long process, made slower by the fact the team can't work at high tide, so one plot takes several days. Eventually, on the sixth day, the team starts to extract and weigh the roots. We separate the prop root and the roots below ground and weighing of fresh wheat. It's the final piece of the puzzle and the most difficult to measure. <laughs> it is crucial. The research is, is crucial to quantify the roots below ground because with that knowledge, we are able also to model the whole uh, picture of the ecosystem. When they leave, the scientists will take the collected samples back to the laboratory, where they'll use a special machine to analyse the carbon content of roots, leaves okay. and wood, and from there figure out the carbon stored in this small patch of forest. But they'll need to spend many more weeks in the mangroves before they have enough data on the whole ecosystem. This is the front line of research on climate change and forests. It's tough, dirty work, but, say the scientists, someone has to do it. Mangroves, as coastline protectors, habitat providers and carbon sinks, are too important to remain a mystery.